Hello everybody. So today I have a video for installing and configuring DNS on a Linux server. I'm currently using Ubuntu 17.10 and we will be installing and setting up bind 9. So uh, as you can see I've logged into my machine here as root. So keep in mind that most of the commands here require either root or sudoware access. So if, um, if you're not going to log in as root just keep in mind you'll need to run sudo for most of the commands. So before we get started with configuring uh, bind and DNS, we'll need to ensure that our current network settings um, are static and that way they don't, uh, we're, we're looking at the right name server and everything. So if you have not installed already, install net tools. So to do that you can do apt get install net tools and I already have it installed so that's okay and the next thing we'll do is ifconfig a and this is going to tell us our current network adapter name as well as our current IP address and subnet mask so I already have a static IP address assigned this is the one that I will be using but if you don't uh, you can actually assign it by opening the etc netplan01 and then this file here and depending on what you already have set up this file may already have some information in it but what you can do is match it to what I have here under the ethernets we have the storage adapter name so that's my uh, not storage network adapter name um, that's my network adapter name uh, make sure that yours is set to whatever your network adapter name is. Again, that'll be in the IF config output. And then in the addresses line, you can assign the IP address that you want to permanently set, as well as the subnet mask. And then we also have the gateway down here. This is all you need in this file. If I were to change this and then run the netplan apply, it would reassign a different IP address. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get kicked from my SSH session, but that's all you need to do. And to save it, you can do escape, colon, write, quit, exclamation mark, and then run netplan apply. And that's it. Now you should have a statically assigned IP address. So uh, one other thing we need to do is fix the way Ubuntu 17.10 or maybe other 17.0 versions um, resolves its name server and right now if we look at the cat etc resolve dot cont file you can see that it's picking up this address um, by systemd resolved so uh, what I've noticed is this will prevent DNS from working correctly so to fix this um, what you can do is make changes to the TC system resolve dot conf. This line right here, you can remove the uh, comment. So that way, when we have a value here, it'll pick it up and enter in the static IP address you just set, assuming that you want to use the uh, local machine as the DNS server. Once you've done that, uh, escape colon, right quit, exit. And then now we need to uh, restart that service. So it's service systemd resolved restart. So in order to make sure that the name server gets picked up correctly, you can either rename or move the, or, well, rename or remove the current resolve.conf. So I'm just going to completely remove mine, etc resolve.conf. So now we will link run systemd resolve resolve.conf to etc resolve.conf now if we do an ls on the resolve.conf you can see that it's linked 
to this file here. So this gets updated with the information we just put in the resolved.conf file and now that's getting linked into the original resolve.conf. If we cat this, you can see it's picking up our current IP address. So the name server will now be the DNS server we're about to configure. And this will make sure that it gets permanently set. If you reboot the OS and everything, um, it'll, it'll still be set to this. If you don't do this, it'll always get set back to that other address and it'll cause some problems for you. So now we are going to actually install and configure bind. So you can do apt get install bind nine, say yes. And now we should have a TC bind directory. We are going to CD to that location. And the first file we'll be editing is the names.conf.options. So I'm going to open that with VI. And we are going to uncomment the forwarder section. And I'm just going to put Google's public DNS servers. And uh, basically this is used for resolving domains outside of your own. So using Google's is okay. We're going to save that. And the next file is the named.conf.local. And this is where we're going to configure um, our master forward and reverse lookup zones and the files that will actually contain those configurations. So in this you can do zone so what I've done here is this is going to be the name of my domain so you can put whatever you're going to call your domain here And then this file does not exist. So what we're doing is saying for this configuration, look at this file. And this is what we'll be creating next for our forward lookup zone. So I'm going to call it that. And you, you can do the same thing. Just use your domain name. And then the reverse lookup zone. So the way that this works is the name should be the first three octets of your IP address in your network, but in reverse. So my network is 192.168.0, and then the, followed by the host address. So in this case, it would be 0.168.192. So whatever your network IP address is, use the same sort of idea. First three octets of your network in reverse. And then the same thing, type master file, and then also uh, this file does not exist, so we'll be creating it, but with the same sort of naming convention. So 0.168.192.inadr.arpa. And then just go over it again to make sure that all the syntax stuff is correct. We have all our curly brackets and semicolons. Okay. So now we are actually going to create those files. So just to get the file names, I'm going to cat. And we will do our forward lookup zone first. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is copy in from my notes on the side here uh, what we're going to be doing.
And I'll have these same notes actually in the description of this video so you can use them as a point of reference. So as you can see, you can use these same values for uh, like these, this will be the same, these can be the same, but up here we are going to adjust uh, the domain name. So use your host name, so in my case the machine is called ubuntu.homelab.local So essentially you can do the same thing using the same sort of format. Host name, domain name, root, domain name. And notice that uh, both names end with a period. Make sure you've done that as well. Then we'll go down here and we are going to do at INS and then the fully qualified domain name again. And then again, I N A, and then the IP address. So you can basically go through and do this for each host in your environment that you're going to be configuring with DNS. So for example, I'll add this other one I have. And that's the idea for the forward lookup zone. So just make sure you have something similar to this and it should work. So we'll do escape and save. And now we are going to do the reverse lookup zone. But first I am going to collect the edited value from here. I want to grab this so that way I don't have to update these values again. So we are going to do vi and then the reverse lookup file. And then just grab these. Okay, so I removed the comment at the top. That's okay. Um, but everything else is correct. So again, you can do the same thing, but in this case, we'll be doing at INS. So the entries for this, uh, because of the way reverse DNS looks or uh, works, it uh, already knows the first three octets of your IP address. So it knows that my network is 192.168.0. So the entries are the actual host address. So for this case, it would be 101. My IP is 192.168.0.101. So that's what we're going to be putting here. And you'll be following the same methodology uh, throughout creating this file. So again, and for the other host. And you can just keep going through doing this for each host in your environment. Oops, different host. And once you're done, you should have something that looks like that and you can save and quit. So we are going to just go over both files again, make sure everything's correct. Not missing any values or have any syntax errors. Okay, everything looks correct to me. So you can just do service bind nine restart and then reload. Now, if everything's correct, we should be able to dig the fully qualified domain name. And as you can see, we got God answer, status, no error. If you do have an issue, uh, generally you can identify it with uh, the answer section down here. So you can see from the files that we have, it grabbed 
that we are looking for this host and we got that host back it said this is what its IP is this is its domain and then the fully qualified domain name again so if you're getting a uh, server fail or NX domain or something like that uh, just go over your configuration files again there may be a syntax error, so just make sure everything looks correct and then uh, restart and reload bind and then you should get this. Um, as you can see, it's using itself as the DNS server. If we didn't do those steps at the beginning of this video for uh, linking or fixing and then linking the resolve.conf, it would still say that 127 IP address. So it would never actually get this information. So you would get server fail or NX domain. I can't remember exactly. But that's basically all you need to do to get uh, DNS working on a Linux server. We can even do I hope this video was helpful for you and thanks for watching.